since we have a quorum. Okay. So, um, who's going to hit the start button on the record? That would be Anne. I think we're already recording. Mm -hmm. I just did. Yep. Okay, good. So I have to go through the usual speech. So everybody take a short nap here. As a preliminary matter, this is Marianne Easley, Chair. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Allison. Yes. Diane. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Kendra. Yes. Jude is not here um, and we ex did not expect her. Susie. Linda. Marianne here. Uh, staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Jericho. In attendance. Here. Anne. Here. Good afternoon. This open meeting of the Council on Aging is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth, due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order which you can find posted with the agenda materials for this meeting allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. This meeting, the Council on Aging is convening by video conference via Zoom app as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that all attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and to take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the meeting. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda. Um, okay, I would just um, ask everybody to remember um, that it's difficult speaking, so try not to speak over one another and to give people a chance to complete what they have to say before uh, jumping in, but I, I think we've gotten used to that. Should be pretty easy. Okay, now I'll go to the agenda, um, and the first item of business is to approve the agenda. And I have a motion to approve the agenda. Yes. Motion to approve. Allison, thank you. Second. Second, Vanessa, thank you. Um, and can I ask for uh, approval? I don't think we need to do a roll call. Does everybody approve? Yes. Yes, okay, everybody approves. <laughs> uh, next item of business is approval of the minutes of our last meeting, which you should have gotten today by email from Laura. So um, does anybody have any comments first um, before we go to approval of those minutes? I just wanna say thank you, Diane. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I would like to second that because Diane and I, um, I took over for for the last half hour or whatever. And if you, I have to say it was difficult to read my notes. And if you don't go right to your notes right after the meeting to do it. And Diane, I, I applaud you and thank you gratefully that you do this. And I know you are not doing this, you're doing this a little, you know, with a little restraint, but I appreciate your hard work on it because it is not easy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Susie. Oh, Susie's here. Yep. Perfect. Um, okay, can somebody please make a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting? I make a motion. That's Kendra, thank you. There's, is there a second? 
I, I do, I'll second it. Allison, second. <laughs> um, everyone, uh, everyone who wants to approve it, please say yes. 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 Thank okay. you. Carried. Thank you very much, Diane. You're welcome. Okay, now we will move on to the um, official business of this meeting, which is to determine the senior man and senior woman of the year. Um, and uh, before we start, I'd just like to say, um, I hope everybody saw Laura's email and um, the suggestion that everyone should have um, done their homework and decided who's your first choice, second choice, third choice, and fourth choice for, for both woman of the year and man of the year. And so I thought what we would do is um, go through each, each person on the council, get your first, second, third, and fourth by number only. So we're not going to use any names here just to avoid um, uh, anyone's feelings being hurt. So only use numbers, please. That's why everybody who's been nominated has a number. And then sure. I've got a quick comment. Sure. Um, I know I noticed that two people, at least of the women had been uh, had already been seniors of the year. I'm going to get to that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get to that Allison. Okay, okay just, a, just a minute. So um, I will compile the numbers. Um, and if anybody wants to do that along with me, I appreciate it because then you'd catch my math errors. Okay. Um, and then at the end, we'll have uh, those four people in each category who came out first, second, third, and fourth. And then we can have our discussion around who had the most points based on that. So I imagine there will be discussion, but that will be after everyone has um, made their, their choices. Okay. Um, Mary Ann? Yes. Are you gonna tell us who, um, I, I had a question too, um, who had already been named senior that's of the what, year? That's exactly before. what Allison was, well, Allison was talking about previous winners. There are actually three numbers on here that um, I suggest we eliminate from the competition. And okay. two of them are those people who have been previous winners. Those are number eight, who was the winner in 2017. Okay. And number 24, who was the winner in 2018. So I don't think they should be included in this competition. And the last one I suggest we eliminate is number 28, because this person is not a senior. His date of birth, which I looked up in the town listing, is 1974. Hello. So this person- yeah. okay. No, Rocky's, Rocky's my age. Not according to the town listing. No, he's younger than, he's- No, he's my age. And he's early, he's 50-ish. Yes, his birth date is uh, 4 17, 1974. I think his birthday is February 17th because he was born on Willie's birthday, but what, what, whatever. No. I'm, I'm just going by the town listing. I okay. assume he approved it before it got listed. Okay. Um, Miss Marianne? Yes. Hi, sorry to interrupt. Um, what did you say that birthday was? 4-17-1974. No, that is Aaron. That's the one that I went to high school with. Um, Rocky is actually 2 1965. Oh. Because oh. uh, Rocky's real name is Anthony. Thank you and, very much. And his younger brother is Aaron. So do not eliminate him from the competition. Then. No, actually 60, he, he's not 60. He's only 55. Yeah, that's what. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, 65. So three people are not going to be in this competition. Number eight, number 24, and number 28. Okay. Um, okay, another order of business just before we get into the actual choosing of the winners. Um, a proposal was made by Joe Aguiar at our last meeting that we consider um, nominating two winners in the men's category and two winners in the women's category because of having missed uh, the 2020 winners due to COVID. So I'd like to put this out for discussion before we go through the process of selection here and see how the Council on Aging feels about 
two winners in each category instead of just one. So anybody want to comment about that? Can I make a comment? It's Kendra. Please. Um, I think it's a lovely idea. Uh, and I get what, where Joe's coming from. Um, personally, I think that it takes the specialness out of it to a certain degree. Um, it feels like, oh yeah, we forgot about you and push it on. I mean, that's, but that's my opinion in that, you know, I'm not sure if anybody. Didn't we talk about this a little bit last time? Yes, we we did. I thought, yeah, I thought we decided to just go I, with it. I just want to make sure we cover this thoroughly before we proceed. Anybody, anyone else have a feeling about this one way or the other? <sighs> Diane? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, but we had decided not to do 2020. And that's kind of like saying that we are honoring by doing I mean, because it's the senior of the year, which is 2021. Um, so I, I thought we had agreed just to do it at, you know, two for this year. Well, I'm gonna weigh in because um, I agree with Kendra that it dilutes the specialness of this. Um, mm -hmm. and I think it was a good thing that we did not do this in 2020 because everybody's head was totally into COVID at this time last year. So um, everybody was worried about being safe and healthy. So um, it was a good thing we skipped 2020. So if that's okay with everybody, we'll just proceed now with the process of choosing this year's uh, winners, one woman and one man. Is everybody ready? Yes. Yep. Okay, so I'd like to go down um, the list of members and each of you tell me, um, Who's your first choice? Who's your second choice, third and fourth? And I'll start with um, women. Um, so Allison, do you wanna tell me your first choice um, among the women? Sure, 13. Oh geez, I forgot to. <sighs> second choice? 11. Third choice? 22. Pardon? 22. 22. Fourth choice. 23. Thank you. Okay, Diane, among the women, who is your first choice? 31. Who is your second choice? 20. Third choice? 11. Um, Fourth choice? 23. Thank you. Okay, Vanessa, who's your first choice among Thir the women? 31 for the Hang women, yeah. Okay. Four. Four is your th uh, second choice. Mm -hmm. Five. Wait, wait, too fast. <laughs> Five is your third choice. Okay. Fourth choice. Fourth choice. Forty. Okay. Thank you. Um, Kendra. Excuse me. Go to somebody else. Maria. Um, Williams is on the phone. Yeah. Is there a yeah. number to call to get into the meeting? Yeah. Not she's not doesn't have access to a computer. Give me one second. Continue ahead. I'll, I'll break in with it. Okay. Okay, Kendra. Sure. Okay. I, I didn't the vote for the gentleman. Kendra, are you there? Yes. Oh, sorry. First choice among women. Um, number 11. Second choice. Um, oh, number 11. Oh, I got it twice. Shoot. Number 22. Hang on one second. 
Okay. Third Sorry, choice. Hold on. I screwed up my numbers. Okay. Jericho. Jer Number 13. It's your third choice. And your fourth choice? I put, them, I put it man, woman, man, woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, um, 14. 14 is your fourth choice? Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, Susie, can I have your first choice among women? Susie? Hello? I said, I said, I, I, I'm sorry, I guess I was muted. Um, I'm actually going to abstain because I really don't know many of these people, so I can't really put in a vote. Okay. Um, is Linda on yet? Not yet. Okay, well, while she's coming in, I'm just going to add my own numbers. Very briefly, sorry, just a, a tiny thing. Um, and can you give me a ring? Yep, I can hear. Oh, can, can you call me though, just so we're not uh, eating up time for the meeting? Oh, call you, which, okay. I'll call you on your phone, yep. Thank you. And we need Allison. Oh no, no. Oh, you got me. Yep, sorry. I'm writing them down as well, sorry. We need Mary Ann's. Mary I'm Anna in mine right there. now. Well, who are they? Because okay. I'm doing it too. Okay, so my first choice was 13. My second choice is 11. My third choice is 10. And my fourth choice is 22. So we only have to add in Linda and then we will have, and we can discuss women. Jericho? While you're waiting, I have a question. Um, we have a really large picture uh, TV in our office that we're going to give away. Do you all need a big screen TV? You mean at the Salt Marsh? Yeah. I think that there there's one on a cart, isn't there, Marianne? Yeah, there is one. Um, I'm wondering if Ann is still on this phone call because she actually. I think she's trying to get through to. Um, to Linda. Linda. So so while we're at it, what is the criteria of, th of this? Um, what are we looking at as far as? Right. I mean, how do we choose a winner? I just want to well, go over. I, I was going to add up all the, the points to see who got the most points, second, third, and fourth most points. And then we can have a discussion of each of those people. And if that does the person with the most points really satisfy who you think ought to be the winner. I just want to, I, I just want to go over the wording again of what makes people Hold on, I'm looking for something, obviously. 
If you read um, Laura's email, it has, um, when she sent it out, it says the criteria right, right on it right. What done for the last few years. So, Can you read it out loud, Kendra? <laughs> well, if I can find it. Well, it starts with 60 years of age, at least. Yeah. Um, a contributor to the community on a volunteer basis and yep. a, a model citizen for other seniors, essentially is what it boils down to. Yep. Okay. Because I think that there are some, you know, when I look at the list, there are some people who, who it's their job. Yeah, but Laura said that, and I thought she had pulled those people. I mean, if they're paid, then they're not allowed to be. Well, I think she gave us all of them, didn't she? She did, but I could only see one that um, it was actually that person's job. Do you see others? There's more. Um, well, I mean, um, Brenda McDonough, it, it's her job. Yeah, but that's the it, one that I could think of, but I couldn't see any other. That others. was the only one I saw, too, but she... Yeah, and then, and then, right. And then there were some people who had- that There was somebody that was- Oops, I said a name. Huh? Yeah, I was just gonna- <laughs> Leap that out. I'm anyway. not writing anything. Um, but, yeah. Well, should we should we go on the men while we're waiting for, for Linda? Okay. I just, <laughs> just an update on that. Uh, Jericho, I'm wondering, could you ask uh, Linda for who her choices were among the women, and then we could just put her put her numbers in here? Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. I mean, how come um, she can't dial in? She's dialing in now. It's actually a somewhat elaborate process that involves about. 24 digits worth of numbers. So imagine it's going to take a couple of minutes. Why doesn't she have a computer? I think she's traveling or is out of office or something. Yeah, I've heard this before. <laughs> yeah, is there any way that you can just get her first, second, third, and fourth choices and then we can? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. So we can keep moving. So did everyone read through all of the um, all of the questions? Yes. And all of the answers. Yes. Yes. It was quite a slog. I know there were, there's some really good ones. <laughs> I, I wanted to vote for everybody. Yeah, no, there are a lot of great ones. It's yeah, that was, this was very difficult for me. <clears throat> and since I've been doing this, this is an incredible turnout as far as. Yeah. I wondered if this was probably the biggest turnout ever. Yeah, so I think I think when we make this public, we should say we had an overwhelming no. Thank you. All no, it's all the COVID. It's all about the COVID. More time to focus on it. Well, no, I think we really got the word out there. Well, I think the know, word. I think it's about. technology as a whole. We yeah, had a total are... of eighty-two nominations and wow. forty-three nominees. A lot of them are paid, so you can get rid of some of them right off the bat. I talked oh, I to guess Laura. Linda, Linda, only one of them is paid. Uh-uh. I talked to Laura about we went down the list before. <laughs> so so by numbers, who do you think are paid? Um, I don't have them in front of me because I just got on the computer. Oh, oh for heaven's sakes. So I Linda, let's get your get first, second, and third and fourth choice among women only. Huh. Who's your first choice among women? It was somebody that Sherry put in, and I can't remember the name. No, we're just do the process of voting here. So, um, do you want to vote? Yeah, tell me what you guys have come up with so far. It's probably on. No, the this is up to you. No, don't do that. Well, well we can't go through all this. Linda. We've been waiting for you for ten yeah. minutes. 
I didn't well, understand to remember their three. names. How can they be number one? Well, tell me who you're, you've gotten on there and I'll go with whatever. Do you have the list? I can't get to it where I am right now. Oh, for heaven's sake. If okay. I don't get home, I can't do it. Well, where are you? I am at the office now on my computer where I can hear you. Oh, All right, Mary, I'm going to tell you who has the most points so far, and then we can have a discussion about this, okay? Yep. Number 11 has the most points with 12. Name? We can't do names, Linda. We're only uh, okay. doing numbers. Okay. We can do names, but the I'll... The person I'll... with the second most um, points is number 13. No, I'm sorry, number what? 13. 13, yep. The third most points is number 31. Yep. And the fourth most points is number six. I'm not sorry, not, that's the number 22. Uh, 22. Okay. So looking over. at uh, number 11, um, how do people feel about this person being the nominee for the year versus... Um, well, one thing I just want to, um, I mean, some of the people are known to the salt marsh and are, have, are familiar with the building from a participant standpoint. And some people um, are mo more from the community. So I want, I'm wondering, do we want to be super inclusive or do we want to give the man or woman to someone who is active at the salt marsh? I'm just wondering. That was, yeah, I agree with you. That was one of my things is um, out in the out in the out, you know, especially during the pandemic or people that we know all the time. Other people have comments on this? Um, number 11 was my second choice. Number 13 being my first choice. Um, and I, and my reasoning behind that is I looked at how many people nominated numbers 11 and 13 and um, number 11 got 17 nominations and number 13 got um, 14 or 15. Um, and so part of me wants to acknowledge people who other people in the community um, support and have nominated. Um, and since I know both of those people, I, I know all of the top four people, so I'm comfortable with that. But um, the reason I voted for number 13 was because of not only the number of nominations that she got, but also the, the number of volunteer positions that she holds um, across the board. I mean, not just religious or church ones, but you know, serving at the Salt Marsh, um, NHA, um, Mar you know, Mariah Mitchell, she just volunteers at, for everything. And she also doesn't have a car and she walks everywhere, which I think is something that, you know, and it was interesting, a couple of her um, nominations said, I want to be just like that when I'm a senior. And I thought that that was a, that's sort of what we, that sort of like spells out pretty clearly what we're looking for. So I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm 13 that, also. Can I say first. Kendra? Hey, Kendra. Kendra. Um, I agree with you. Um, and I, my first thought was um, the most nominations from the community. And I thought that number um, 11 got the most, um, I actually counted seven, 18, um, but uh, I think either choice would be, I think, perfect. And I would be happy with either one. Um, I think number 11 is puts yourself out there very much also. And I've had direct dealings with both of them. And I, like I said, I think um, either one, my first choice was 11, but either one. Thank you. My first choice is 13. I had that on my list at home. Um, and I just want to remind you of who uh, came in third and fourth. Uh, number three 
the, the third place person is number 31. And the fourth place person is number 22, just so we have an, another look at those before we go back to uh, the two obviously vying winners for this. You know, um, one other thing that um, I'm cu curious about, I mean, when it, um, when we look at the ages of people, um, part of me thinks that if you, if you have another 20 years in which you can win the, this esteemed award, then maybe you should let someone who's older than you go first, um, mm -hmm. which is another reason why number, why, why number 13 at 91 is, is, is my first choice. I don't know how many, hopefully she'll be around for a lot longer, but she's obviously logged in tons of hours. And that's well, it for me. I don't think that that should be a, a prerequisite. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm surprised she hasn't been nominated before, actually. Yeah. So uh, we've also been asked to come up with a sort of a backup in case the first choice person does not accept the award. So keep that in mind. Um, do you want to just take a vote between these two, uh, number 11 and number 13, and go with uh, the winner of that vote? That sounds good to me. Yes, I think yes, so. My, I'd, um, I'd like to move to nominate number um, 13 as our senior woman. Who's I that, second. Kendra? Second. Yes, Kendra, yeah. Who's I'll second it. Allison. I seconded. Linda. Bye, Linda. I'm going to do a roll call vote on this. Okay, so we're voting for number 13 to be the woman of the year. Um, so yes or no, Allison? Yes. Diane? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Kendra? Yes. Susie? Yeah, I don't really know She's her, but voting. I'll say yes. Linda? I thought you were abstaining. Yes. Linda, did I get it? Yes. A... And Marianne, yes. Okay, so it looks like we have a unanimous number 13 is the woman of the year. Very and nice. if we have to choose a backup, um, does somebody want to make a motion of having number 11 be the backup? Just in case. I do. Susie, I will. I, I know Jean Grimmer. She's one I do know. I, I love her. Don't say their name. <laughs> So, I'm um, sorry. Second for this? I second. second. Who did the first? Susie. Susie. I thought you were abstaining because you didn't vote, you didn't do a thing. Yeah, that's I what didn't, I didn't. But, but I don't know most of the people, but I know her, so I was going to say. But if you want me to abstain completely, I will. No, no, no it's okay. I just didn't know. So Susie made. I don't know most of the people. Who is going to make, who, who seconds this? I know. Oh, Allison. Oh, oh Allison. Thank I you. don't care. Okay. Good. So the, now the we're going to do a roll call vote. This again is for uh, the backup to be number 11. Allison. Yes. Diane. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Kendra. Yes. Susie. Yes. Linda. Yes. Marianne, yes. Okay, so we have an idea. Okay, so we have um, number one and number two. Okay, so number 13 is our senior woman of the year. And in case she does not accept, um, number 11 uh, will be offered it. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Come to the men. <laughs> Oh, no, there's always a men. <laughs> okay. Would you, would, you like, um, would you like us to talk about any of these guys? Well, the talk oh. comes at, I wanted people to vote first so that we have something to talk about, a sense of, you know, where people individually fell. Otherwise, the discussion is all over the place. Well, I'd just like to support one of these. We, um, it came from Sherry, um, which was Barry Thurston, He uh, number 43. He. Uh, Names. He kept driving and driving and driving during this whole pandemic, and um, he came very highly recommended from Sherry. We weren't supposed to say the name, remember? 
Now I'm down to 43. <laughs> okay. Oh, she just said <laughs> thank you, Linda. And then I All right, I'm going to go down these uh, one more time. Um, so, Allison, can you give me your number one among the men? Uh, yes, number one is um, uh, 25. Hold on. Mm. The second choice? 16. Should you say that again, please? 16. Okay. Uh, and your third choice? Three. And your fourth choice? 43. Thank you. Uh, Diane, among the men, what is your first choice? 25. 29. Hang on a second. Sorry. Yes. Um, 35 is your second choice? Correct. 39, wasn't it? 39. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Yes. 25, 39. Okay. Third choice? Three. Okay. Fourth choice? 43. Thank you. Uh, Vanessa, who's your first choice among the men? 25. 39. Wait, hang on. 39 is your second choice? Yep. Yeah. 16. 16 is your third choice? And then seven. Seven is your fourth. Okay. Um, Kendra, who is your first choice among the men? Um, hold on, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, number 25. 25. Number nine. Number nine is your second. Mm. Okay. Um, number 39. Okay. And number three. Thank you. Uh, Susie, are you, are you going to pass on this one too? No, I, I can do this. So um, um, I'm ready for your first choice. 43, 25, 41. 41. Right. And um, hold on. Who was the other one? Hold on. Uh, one minute. Sorry. Um, did that one. Did that one. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Um, six. Six is your fourth choice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Linda, who is your first choice among the men? 39. 43. 16 and three. Okay, so do we oh. get to talk about these guys when we get them down? Yes. Yes, and okay. I'm the last person. So my number one is number seven. Um, my number two is forty-one. My number three. Sorry, yeah, my number three is 39. And my number four is seven. No, nope. you said seven for number one. Yeah. Said it twice. Oh, sorry. My number four is, thank you for catching that. Uh, my number four is 16. Oh, that's okay. All right, hang on one second. Six. Okay, the person with the most votes is number twenty five who got 15 points. 
15, what do you mean 15? Well, I'm, not, I'm giving four points for a first choice, three points oh, for second. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I didn't uh, plan on that. The person, who, well, that's the only way to weigh the, you know, they have to have weight. Why? Your first choice can't have the same weight as somebody else's fourth choice. Right. That's what I thought. How many people picked 39 versus 43 versus 25, I think is the other one. Well, we're picking four people each. So yeah. you yeah. have to have the weight behind it. Okay. Yeah, you have to have the weight or it doesn't make sense. The it's person who got the most line. points here is we can discuss this. Number 25 got the most points. The person with the next most points with just one less is uh, number 39. The next most points is number 16. And the last most points is number three. Now, Marianne, you said that only one of these people were employed. That's I'm, not well, well, I'm sorry, I, I messed, messed that up. Let me go through the men again. The person with the most points among the men is number 25. Right. The second most points is number 39. Yep. The third most points is number 43. 43. Yeah, 43, 43 and three are, are tied, aren't they? And no, the next one is number 16. Okay. Um, can we clarify one thing again? Um, I can tell you who's employed. It is more than one person. What are the Among numbers? Uh, out of the four? Out of those four? Out of, out of uh, where is he? 16. He's employed by the town for housing. 16. Yes, but he also is being nominated for all of his volunteer activities. Right. And I'm on a couple of other things with him. I just wanted to make sure you all knew that he was... Um, He's on my list too, but I want to make sure you know he's employed. And um, what's the other one? Oh, uh, Nancy Swain is paid. Oh, well, number what is that? Twenty-three is paid. We've already paid, we've already voted on women. And number forty is paid. Just so you know. Yeah, but this is men. Yes, I know, but I just you said only one was paid, and I was just looking at the list again. Oh my god. <sighs> Linda, you have to come on the meeting earlier. Well, if I'm not driving around with a client, I could, but I don't have a flip. I have a flip. Well, you need to let us know if you're on or off because this is crazy. We already voted on the women. I know. I'm just saying, just to clarify. It doesn't matter now. It's too late. For the minutes, I'm clarifying it. That's Actually, all. Actually, to clarify, Linda, you were the person who nominated number 40. 40? Yeah. No, I didn't actually put it in, but I found out after the fact that she was paid from uh, the person who paid him, <laughs> go figure. <sighs> okay, so do you wanna look at the people who got the most points, um, which number 25 got the most points and number 39 got the second most points. Are they, did you say they're a point different? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. One point difference, yes. How much? One point difference. Okay. I, uh, do you want us to say what we need to say? I nominated Jack. Yeah. Um, he has recently, just as of two weeks ago, I believe, retired from everything after 60 years of being a selectman. Uh, I was on multiple things with him. He had to have been at least 30 or 40 different things in town, including selectmen, including planning board, including uh, uh, traffic safety, community Can you say the person's oh, number? 39, 39, 39. I'm just looking at his name, so it came into my head. But uh, he's been on every single board in town, Parks and Rec. Um, and he was on probably probably 10 as of two or three weeks ago. And he's finally retired. And I don't know of anybody in the town that has donated more of his volunteer time than Jack Gardner. I just, I've been in town government since 1982 and I've never met anyone in town that has been on as many boards as Jack. And being the fact that he finally retired from everything because um, he's ailing slightly 
I think that makes him a really good candidate this year because I'm not sure where we're going to be next year. Anybody um, else want to weigh in on these? Uh... I found it really helpful when the nom the people who nominated shared what their experience is because I sort of knew that about Jack, but I stop but saying of, the names, please. This is going to disqualify. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, but like number, I mean, you know, number thirty nine. Did, didn't have that good a write up. Sorry, Linda, but um, you know you well, said it all. Minute. You know you said it all right there. But um, I, I was depending more on what the people who nominated them had to say about them than what my own personal opinion was. And I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. But um, it was great to have people write about their nominate their nominee because that helped me make my decision, so. Um, hello. Diane, go um, ahead. I, when this first started, the very first person, when we started talking about this meeting and you, these uh, seniors of the year, and you said, try to think of someone you would like, 39 immediately came to my attention um, just through the years and different boards that I've been on that I went to him for help many, many times. Um, he's very, he, you know, he's very much in the very quiet. He probably would be embarrassed by this. Um, but I really had a hard time between 39 and 25. Me too. Um, um, but I have to, and it really still, I don't know how I would vote between them. But um, I, I think that I probably would go for 39. Um, just having served on a board with him recently. Can you name the board that Linda didn't mention? Can we name the boards? We can yes. say that, right? Sure. Which was park and rec. And he really worked so hard to get that going. The tennis courts um, out at Tom Nevers. Fields. Um, so many things that he just quietly did behind the scenes. And I just need to throw that in there. And so those were all volunteer things or was he paid at, at no, that point? All volunteer. All volunteer. Everything, Everything was volunteer. Everything was volunteer. Anybody else want to comment or does somebody want to make a motion here of who we want to choose? I'll make a motion to Can, can anybody to talk about the number of 25, please? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's a really tough, tough choice. Yeah. Part of me says, who's, is, Who's not going to be around next year to get nominated? So it could be 39. Uh, it um, can also be don't 25 like as well. Yeah, I, I think. I, I just, um, I'd like to, I'd like to nominate number 25 as our man and then number 39 as our runner up. I second Kendra. And I'd like to do it the other way around. <laughs> So um, maybe we could do a, ro a roll call vote on just these two names. Please. Okay, how many people want to vote for number 25 to be um, our man of the year? Let me Susie, vote. yes. Hang on a second. <laughs> uh, number 25, um, Allison. Well, wait, actually I'm gonna go down the list of roll call and you can tell me if you want 25 or 39. Okay, that's probably the better way to go. Yeah. So let me start with Allison because you're the top of my list here. Thank you. <laughs> Which do you want, 25 or 39? Gotta make a choice. Well, the other one is gonna be the backup, obviously, but not that that makes any difference. 25. Diane. 39. Vanessa. 25. Kendra? 25. Susie? 25. Linda? 39. Marianne? 39. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four 25s and one, two, three 39s. Wow, could have gone either way. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So does that Everybody feel okay with that? I don't, Number but that's- 25 is our choice for man of the year. 
Mm, I, I guess don't. I just I don't know uh, all the stuff that the other one has done, but that's okay. I Both. know. I mean, I just I he's done more than anybody on this list. That's all I got to say, because I've been on mm. at least 15 of these with him. Um, and he's retired finally. Anybody want to change their vote? Um, <laughs> nope. No. Okay. No. So 25 is the first man of, is man of the year. I mean, okay. it's a good choice. So number 25 is our man of the year. If he decides not to accept number 39 will be who will approach. Okay. I don't think he'll be here. This was tough. Linda, stop. Well, make sure he's nominated next year, you know. Well, he won't be doing anything for the next year. That's all I can say. Well, it, it doesn't mean it doesn't, he I don't think it's past. just for the year anyhow. I think it's the, the culmination of many years. And I mean, you look back at everything. I mean, it's not just this year because people were out. I mean, I get what you're saying. He's 80 something years old and and he's, um, I think he's going into the nursing home. Oh dear. Yeah, that's my problem. Okay. He's not running around anymore. Likes to be. <laughs> All right, this one. Okay, man of the year is number 25. Um, are there any other comments from anybody? Because we're sort of concluding our business here today, which is to um, name the senior man and senior woman of the year. Um, the only thing, go ahead, Diane. Okay. Oh, no, go ahead. I probably interrupted you. I just didn't know if we were going to talk about if this was going to be how this was going to be announced or, and that's what, what we're gonna, doing. That's what I was going to say. I'd like um, to ask everybody to not share any of this, any of this information until I've had a chance to call the two winners, which I plan to do right after this meeting. But who knows if I will reach them right away. Um, mm -hmm. But as soon as I reach them and I know that they have accepted, I will send everybody an email so that you know it's a done deal um, and that you can talk about it. Well, Madam Chairman, being is that the COVID thing is changing by minute, by minute, by week, by week, is there a possibility to have an actual face-to-face -face with everybody vaccinated at the Salt Marsh? So there is a photographic thing for the paper. You know, is there any chance that we're going to be able to do this face-to-face -face with a little thing? The paper will do its own thing face to face between the winner and the photographer and the reporter. That will happen without having to come into the salt marsh. But we may still have a luncheon to recognize these people. It's just that we don't know what month that luncheon will be in. Okay. I just don't want to preclude having the same little fet that we have for everybody else. Because as, as I say, this COVID thing's changing by the minute. Correct. Um, I would be happy to keep this board up to date on the status of Salt Marsh reopening when it does, uh, we do have a date to announce it at. Great. Yeah, and I know the selectmen are discussing a lot of stuff tonight as to who's gonna be open when and where and all that stuff. There's still some state guidance around gatherings that need to be massaged to figure out um, how we would go about hosting something like that. It's not impossible, but if you guys, it's much more likely to happen the later in the summer you guys schedule it for. Yeah, August maybe. I've got a, so um, they're gonna be tents up on the fields for town meeting. Um, so if we could do it outside and maybe have a picnic lunch, we could maybe do it in June. Jerrica, would that work if we were all outside? Similar to town meeting? I, 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 um, it could possibly work, um, but I mean, like you wouldn't be, you're not talking about draft, like using facilities that are gonna be earmarked for town, town meeting, because I, I, the planning for that has been an utter nightmare and I don't think we would get anywhere trying to sneak into it or anything. No. Well, well they're gonna have the tents up for, for a week. Yeah, so. but I, I'm just, 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 from what I've heard downstream about town meeting planning, like it, it's probably not worth it to try and, and, and draft their kind of their 
operations on this front. Um, we yeah. could do an outdoor thing as long as it's properly, um, you know, properly spaced and permitted. Um, yeah. and we can... You know, what I'm thinking is that if they put the tents up for town meeting on the 5th and they're going to be up the whole week until graduation on the 17th or whatever, maybe we could do a Wednesday at noon. I, I will just, I will just flat out tell you right now, it is very unlikely we're going to get to use those tents for anything. They're, they're really like the planning around that has been okay. nightmare. very, very nightmarish. And like, there's a lot happening there that I don't believe it would make it any more likely for us to do it. Okay. And it would, so yeah, sorry. Yeah. I can't we can also it. obviously make the announcement at town meeting as to who they are. Mm -hmm. Um, may I ask one more question? Go right ahead. For notes, when I do these notes, I'm just going to do, um, I can name them in our notes because they don't get approved till next month. Do I do both the winner and the second runner up? Uh, no, runner -up? I would suggest that you just do the winner. Just do the winner. Okay. And I'm uh, not going to do the no, motion or. No, no, no. We took a vote, <laughs> and the vote as to what we did has to be in the minutes. And part of the vote was who the runner up was on both the male and female. You cannot leave it out of the minutes. This is not an executive session. We and it did has not, to be in the minutes. We did not vote on the second one. We just. Yeah, we did. It was part of the whole thing. So Might for man of the year, we didn't vote. We just counted the votes. Yes. And the backup was number 39, which was part of the whole discussion. Those cannot be left out of the minutes. Otherwise, the but, minutes are not legal. But we did not vote on man of the year. Yes, we did. She took a vote. Can we just put the number down instead of the name of the? Yeah, name? just put the numbers nope. down. Nope. <laughs> not, fo not following you, Linda. We didn't do a nomin. We didn't. There wasn't a nomination made and voted. Um, we just did the yes. vote. Yes, it was. It was a roll call vote. I beg to differ. I did the nomination of yeah, on the man of the year. Yes. And okay. And that's why we voted. And they're okay. a roll call vote. All right. Then for my minutes, um, who second that then? I'm sorry that I missed that. Allison. Uh, okay. Allison. All right. But so do we go in the minutes? It's not executive session. Okay. I just, okay. Can you put in the minutes that it was really, really, really hard to make the decisions? Yeah. I don't understand what good it would be to put it in. Um, I know we're not executive. I don't know where the good would come out of that. And if it's, um, if the minutes are read prior to the actual announcement in t um, by the town, by us for the town, then why don't we just wait? Oh no, our next meeting is June. Sorry. Yeah, so they, they don't I have to put the minutes in until I then. I understand what the good would be um, other than, I don't understand the, the outcome. Uh, I mean, if, if it would hurt someone's feelings or, I mean, I think we have the possibility here of maybe doing something that uh, would be good in doing what we're doing is nominating these people, this person. These I people. agree. I think the winner should be the one that we put in. Well, then we don't have a backup because it's open meeting law well, violation. The decision, but the decision will be made when Mary calls these folks. And we'll know by then she's going to speak to each of the winners. And I'm the minutes don't go anywhere law, but the, the open clerk. meeting law. It's an open meeting law, guys. So just very quickly, I believe the results of any roll call meeting must be recorded. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you guys did do a roll call meeting, you should restate the motion that was being voted on, and then you should tally the votes assigned by name. Well, Deb, well, uh, Kendra that. did that. Yes, thank you, Jericho. Okay, that's clear then. So both the uh, winners and the runners up will be named in the minutes. Yes, but hey. not, not who voted for who, but just the, the who where they were. Uh, 
It doesn't matter, Susie. You have to follow the open meeting. I know, but let's just, I just sort of feel like you're not let's, running the meeting. Let's, 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 it doesn't table matter. This let's hold on. To let's, on the table, let's stop for a moment, please. Let's Jeez. table this discussion. The motion has been voted on. We record the motion and we can move on. Okay. Yeah. It's going to go the way it went. I'm just uh, there's there's no need for additional comment on this point. The the open meeting law state that the results of a roll call meeting must be recorded. We don't need to assign who voted for who, but the right. individuals who are voted for and the results of that vote must be recorded by open meeting law. Um, Jericar, can you yes. like make an amendment? Can you make an amendment to what we voted on? Um, yeah, you would just have to do another motion, I believe. So no, you have to make a motion was... to reopen the vote. No. Yeah, so you, no. Yes, I mean, you do. Uh, do, hold, hold, do. Hold on, hold on. We're doing. We're doing. There's a. There's a lot of crosstalk going on here. I don't think it's necessarily helpful in resolving the issue. I think that as long as we record the result of that vote in the minutes, we satisfy the open meeting law. I don't. Unless you guys want to have something different that you had voted on, then you would need to reopen the vote. Do another motion to either to vote on a different motion or you need to to reopen the previous motion, one of the two. I think as far as open meeting law goes, all we need to worry about is that the, the results of the vote, but not the people who did the voting either way, um, came out. And I believe from what I heard, the motion, at least for the men, was that A, individual A or individual one was the, was the selection and individual B was the backup in case individual A does not accept the award, correct? That's correct. Okay. And I'm hoping that, that can, I think that that should stay the way that is, and okay. and then name them that way as Linda suggested. So it's open. Um, it's an open meeting law violation if we law. don't list the vote, not who voted for I her. I think Jericho has made it very clear. Done. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. Linda. Agreement. Yeah. So, like, li li Linda is correct. If we do, if the result of that vote was is not recorded that is that's a problem as far as open meeting laws go you don't need to reopen anything else you just need to state what the motion was and the result the outcome of that vote which we did so in the minutes just record the motion plus past i think that's it i don't even think do you... we're done that's it yeah yeah uh, um, i think we've concluded our business for today Unless anybody has anything else that you need to say on the subject. Um, I just want to make something. Um, did everyone get Laura's email about the public hearing? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, I think we should reach out to people as a, as, as a board and share this information because um, that's our job. It was very as unclear to me what will actually go on in this meeting. It was not enough for me to even decide if I should be there, let alone ask somebody else to be there. Yeah, um, I, I feel the same way. Like I need more information about what this meeting is. Yeah. Um, what, what is their focus really? Because it's pretty, I'm looking at the email now. It's vague. And it's sort of loosey goosey. Well, they're, they're so, giving money away um, that, that the state is, I mean, the, the state provides title three grants. Yeah. And that is to for seniors and their caregivers. And so this, this is where people who, who want to put a proposal in go to discuss what it is that they're planning. And then, um, then they, so if you're, if you have a, um, have a program or have something that you'd like to have that fit in, fits into the criteria, you would go to this and listen to what the rules are because Title III grants are have specific rules as to how you apply. You know, I'll I'll share with Laura um, what we talked about at the ESCCI meeting. Um, I think that no, very few people apply for these grants. I think Pascon has puts you know applies every year and gets money for one of their care you know caregiver support group meetings or something, but. Other towns have tons of things that they put grants in for. Um, so I'll see if I can get a list of what the current grants are that are out so we can get an idea of what other towns ask for and receive. And then maybe see if we can find someone who's interested in providing some programs for the elderly. 
How, uh, how do we reach the caregivers? That's because they're sort of focused on their person and it's hard to reach the caregivers. How do we get a list of who does that here? Um, Besides well, MassCon. Um, Elder Services maybe? Sherry would well, probably yeah. have some idea as to who, you know, um, Sherry actually is the, you know, is the Elder Services person on Nantucket. So it's her company. Elder Services of Cape Cod and the Islands are, are, are the bosses and so she would know caregivers and she might even have ideas about programs but since she's an employee she can't be someone who who puts an R rfp up for it because that's what um title threes are is just like yeah. town government it's like criteria and you have to ask for it and then you get it and then you have to prove you did it and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of private caregivers here that aren't necessarily through elder services or known to PASCON. A lot. Well, and, and so if there was going to be a program, the person who was running the program would have to include information as to how they were going to do their outreach or how they were going to do, you know, how are they going to find people to participate in these programs? You know, maybe someone could even do a, a, a program for art. I mean, I'm going to have Oh, so I don't know how many people signed up for the art classes. Sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit, but I'm actually taking an, a, an art class through the Artists Association. Did anyone else sign up for that? Uh, CPC paid for it last year and they're paying for it next year as well. And it was my understanding it was um, pretty successful. Um, I, I, the Artists Association is, got the grant for this program yeah. and they're paying for half of the is that from the cpc yeah oh and we're paying for it again starting july 1 and it was very successful because that was one of my projects but it was it seemed to be really well received and it was safely done and they had all the protocols in place it, it, this, we just this want to make started, sure we reach the elderly population more right. what, what cpc linda community preservation committee uh, i think that's one of the ones Jack just got off. But um, so, was, we paid for these things, but we, we also told them when I met with them a couple of months ago on the site visit that they needed to reach out more to the elderly population to do it because they are doing um, safe protocols out there. Right, and so they it, it's been in the, the, the Gazette um, and I just, you know, I'll, I'll ask Lizzie tonight how many people or if she can tell me how many people signed up, but this is the first time that it's been offered 50% off to the anyone 60 or over. And I was hoping that because we advertised a lot or Laura put it out there in the, in the Gazette, I was hoping that people from the Salt Marsh actually took advantage of the program, but I don't know who, who did, um, except for me. I got a half price class because I'm 60 now, but um, I just didn't know if anybody else or if it was too much money, or if even half of the uh, regular artists association class was was a barrier for people, so it'd be it'll, it'll be interesting to find out who, if anybody, was taking the classes. Uh, uh, Vanessa, do you know if anyone at at uh, Sherburn did it? Uh, no, I do not. Um, however, uh, we at Sherburn, being a nonprofit, I wrote my own grant for art class, and we actually have uh, classes. Um, scheduled via Zoom um, with the Artists Association oh. that, uh, that we're paying for, for our residents, uh, for their safety to actually stay here. <laughs> okay, just curious. I'll find out. Now is another question. This meeting on the 20th is to learn more about what's available. So we don't have to come prepared with recommendations or programs, right? Right, um, I'll get to Laura to get to you guys. Good. I'll, I'll tell um, the person who's running it that, because they're, they're required to advertise in the paper and through the Council on Aging, the local Council on Aging, but it is really confusing if you don't know, it, it doesn't even say Title III, I don't think, in, in what Laura put out. So no, um, I'll get some background information for us so that we can perhaps identify needs in the community and suggest that those people attend the meeting. It doesn't even say if it's on Zoom or how it's, yeah, it's on Zoom. So there's no yeah. Zoom connection. So we'd have to get the connection anyway. Yeah. No Zoom link. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I'm sure you sign up. I'll, I'll sign up um, and 
report back. Thank you. Because our next meeting is after that, so. Yeah, this is on the 20th. Yeah. But okay, I think we've concluded our business for this meeting. Cool. Thank you, everybody. Many thanks Thank to you. All the people who nominated people. Um, yeah, yeah we, yeah, we should say that when we publicize it, you know, thank people. Yeah, for a great the, group. Yeah. yeah. And thank you, everybody here on the Council on Aging. Yeah, we adjourn. Mary and I move that we adjourn. I'll second it. Okay. All righty. No. Nope. Nope. Thank you. Roll call. Oh. Mary Ann, roll call. Uh, Has to be done by roll Allison. call. Allison. Yes. <laughs> Diane. Yes. Vanessa. Yep. Kendra. Yes. Susie. Yes. Linda. Yep. Mary Ann, yes. Thank Thanks, you, Madam Chairman. Again, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Signing off. Hi, John. How are you? I'm going to sit down, okay? Okay.